just a quick update. My new friend Ken has completed the majority of the branch line. It goes the way up to there. Still need to finish the rest of the track going up. The lead for the mine plus the salvage yard and the back shop tracks as well as the flood loader tracks also have the engine shop built so these little works are all the way assembled obviously and we have the track coming into the yard started but you'll notice that being a yard these tracks ought to be a lot more closer together you know, the way it the way a switch comes you got plenty of room so what we're going to do is we're going to trim these so they'll be stacked a lot closer and of course then the track would be a lot closer a little closer to prototype of course MRA says I think in a yard two inches an inch and a half two inches uh, on center and here's the after after each switch has been cut down a bit and you can see uh, everything's fairly close and Ken there is busily working and I have my circuit cards now built up finally getting into some real wiring here each one of these terminal boards is hooked up to one of these uh, cards that I made in the make a circuit card videos so they came out nice so that's track one through six this is going to be for one of the staging and I'll make another one for the other side the staging tracks are going to be hooked up to a BDL-168 which is hooked up to one of these it's called a breaker board there's a gentleman in the Yahoo Digitrax user chat room who uh, makes these a guy named Rick Lull and his website or how you can contact when you get one of these is below he has two different kinds this one takes multiple inputs so multiple uh, circuit breaker cards or power supplies the other one does not which is what I'm using down here which I've already mounted to a BDL 168 and this is going to power all the uh, tracks in the uh, staging yard up here and here I have a breakout board mounted to a BDL-168 snaps right in and then everything just screwed in you don't have to worry about any soldering simple I like that so it's just a quick primer the the input from the I'm using the red as the input here input there that goes to the uh, circuit card the two center ones will be uh, a switch so I can a push button switch that I demonstrated in circuit card one the this one here is going to go to a bypass switch it's an automotive 12 volt with an LED switch and I'll show how I wire that once I get them they're on order uh, this is the output to the LED to show that the uh, track is um, occupied. That's the output of the switch. Whoop, whoops, sorry. That's the output of the output output of the bypass switch, and that's the output to the track. Same thing all the way down. So how's the damn thing wired, you ask? Well, these two lines are going to the PCA, uh, PSX circuit breaker card this will be for what I call PCX5 and PCX, PSX6 
This one's going to the BDL, which is mounted down here. Lines come down. So we have the bus going. Those lines on the other end over there are for the the other end of staging. Again, all of them are come from the, the BDL. Here the circuit cards and terminal boards have been mounted. And we'll get all that together. So the red wire coming in. Then the red wires come out and they're going to go to each of the staging tracks. It's only the red wire you need to worry about because the black wire will be your common so this is for detection. Remember it's not actually making a circuit it's just for detection. Mm -hmm.